So what makes a good online shop? That's a good question. You really need to think about what information your customers want to see and know about you for them to make the decision to purchase from you. So the first thing you need is a website that your customers can find, whether this is searching on Google or whether it's typing in the web address. So your website domain name, the bit that you type into Google, should be easy to remember and easy to spell. Less is more. Then you need to think about how it looks and how easy it is for your customers to use. The website should look professional, the menu should be clear, and the product images should really show off your products. All of these factors count when the customer is using your website. You want them to buy from you and not your competitor. Online competition can be fierce, so you want to put your best foot forward. For us to get your website started, we're going to need the following information from you, and we can't begin the process without this. So the basic things we need are, we'll need your store name, your store contact email, your sender email, this is the email address that customers will receive emails from you, and your store URL. If you don't have a store name yet, see the article below for more help. We'll also need the legal name of your company, the phone number, the address and the postcode. Now we need to think about your delivery and your click and collect information. If you're going to offer click and collect, we're going to need the address that your customers can pick up their products from you. Then we need to know where you can deliver to and if you have any delivery prices. Then we need to think about payments and we're going to need to take the following information from you. We're going to need your business type, your company's house registration, your VAT number, your business address and we're also going to need your first name, your last name and your date of birth. Then we need to know what industry you operate in and a description of your products and services. Then we'll need a statement descriptor and you can click on the link below to find out what that is. We'll also need your bank information, so your sort code and your account number. And finally, we're going to need to know all about your business and the types of products that you sell. We're going to send you a document to fill all of this out and your digital advisor will help you with this. It's important to spend the time filling out all of this information.